Hey boys and girls, um, it's August 18th, 2021, and many of you know that I really love monarch butterflies. Uh, monarch butterflies are endangered, and for the past 10 years, I've been growing milkweed and um, rearing caterpillars that I'm able to get from the garden and bring in home and take care of them until they go into chrysalis and then come out of chrysalis and then I send them on their way. Um, I've been a part of the Monarch Watch org and many years I've gone down to Cape May in um, September and October and I've learned how to tag butterflies and I'm going to show you how to do tagging butterflies on your own. So you can contact monarchwatch.org um, if you have milkweed in your garden and you have monarchs that come and lay eggs and you use a tag which is a sticker now notice I have a little pin here um, a safety pin I'm not going to use the pin to literally pin the tag on but you try not to touch the sticker so I'm using the pin to be able to take the sticker off the the paper and then place it on the discal cell of the monarch butterfly which I'll show you in a moment um, we record the monarch butterflies and we write the tagging number the date whether it's a male or female and I'll, I'll share that with you as well whether it was wild or reared now wild means that I went out into the garden and I was able to catch a butterfly and tag it which I did already I was able to um, just pick one up and tag it and this specific butterfly I reared which means I found the caterpillar in my garden and kept feeding it milkweed it went into chrysalis and now it has become a butterfly the name of the town and of course the state the zip code and the country and when I'm all done I'll send this in when the season's done with the remaining tags that I did not use the purpose of tagging the monarch butterfly is to see where the monarch reaches to. The goal of the monarch butterfly is to make the long migration that it does in the fourth generation and they fly all the way to Mexico. So they stop down in Cape May, New Jersey and other, other parts of um, North America and then they fly to Mexico where um, they will end their journey and if someone finds the tags or if you ever find a monarch butterfly that is tagged you can call the telephone number and tell the the actual number of the um, tag and they'll be able to find out where this butterfly was tagged and how far distance it has gone so all right let's begin So I have a female butterfly and I'm going to grab her right now. I'm going to try to avoid touching her wings as much as possible. Um, this does not hurt the butterfly and this is called the discal cell and that's where I'm going to place the actual tag and then I'm just going to briefly press on the tag and now I'm going to release her so you're going to watch the full cycle of the tagging process Nicholas is my um, cameraman and I hear the prancing of my dog And it's not raining yet, so I really wanted to make sure that I got the butterfly out before the rain started. Um, she's ready to go. She is a female, and the reason why I know, and I've explained this in other um, videos of mine, the back hind wings, if they're a male, which means a boy, there's two black dots that are parallel to each other. These black dots are pouches. If it's a female, they won't have that. So I'm going to take her over to Virginia because 
she might want to take a quick drink and you may see her just fly off. So I'm going to place her on the zinnia and let's see, let's help her out here. still pumping her wings. So we're going to give her some time and eventually she will fly off. All right guys, saving another endangered animal. Have a nice day.